Bass, and he just heard he received that bad conduct discharge from the Air Force. In 2014 is when that happened, following a 2012 court martial for the assault of his wife and child. And here in Colorado Springs, we have learned Kelly was also charged with animal cruelty. It happened at Fountain RV Park in Old Colorado City. News 5's Mark Boyle continues our team coverage tonight. He spoke with some who live in the neighborhood at the same time as Kelly and Mark. They say he kept to himself out there. That's right, we're told people generally know those neighbors on each side of them, but few others around the park now shock in the RV park as they learn they lived just several hundred feet away from Devin Kelly. I just remember them blocking off the entrance and going through trailer to trailer because he was hiding in a trailer. Jeremy Bernadelli remembers that 2014 night well. It is definitely something to think about. You know, that's why I, I considered Colorado open carry law and concealed carry law. I take full advantage of that when I can because you never know what's going to happen. It was the night the El Paso County Sheriff's Office surrounded lot 60 here at the Fountain Creek RV Park, briefly detaining and citing Devin Kelly for animal cruelty. After this report says Kelly jumped on top of a dog here, punching it and dragging it into his trailer. Management at the park confirms the incident in a statement to News 5. They say Devin Kelly lived here with his wife Danielle from June 2014 to January 2015. Management says the couple was asked to leave shortly after the animal cruelty charge. And I seen the sign, the sign behind it. That's, a, that's where I'm going to move. So, uh, yeah, just shocked. Others like Ken and Don Holcomb say they're stunned by the close local connection. I've been seeing this park here for many years, and it's really shocking to find out what happened. <clears throat> and we're told that although management wouldn't comment on camera for us that this was the only incident reported to them by the Kellys or about the Kellys and of course they were then of course forced to move out. We'll continue to follow this story for you as it continues to develop. Watching out for you in Old Colorado City, I'm Mark Boyle, News 5. Mark.